Hey, want to start a podcast? Spotify has a platform that allows you to create one so easily you won't believe it. And the best part, it's totally free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters allows you to record, edit, and distribute your episodes right from your phone or computer. You can also add songs from Spotify's library, edit with cool transitions, and then hear your show on all the big networks, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and more. You can also earn money through ads and subscriptions. And once again, for those in the back, it's completely free with no catch. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today. Hey, I'm Podcast Nate, and I'm inviting you to join the podcast revolution. I took my first podcast, The Sobriety Diaries, from launch to the top 3% globally in the first 90 days, and I've created a simple framework to help you achieve the same. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking for an additional stream of revenue or a creator expanding your platform, let's revolutionize your world one episode at a time. I am here today with Marcus Ogden. Marcus, thanks for joining me. How's your morning today? (laughs) It's going well, Nate, thank you very much. Just took the dog out for a walk and I've got some coaching calls coming up and some meetings, so it's a lovely Friday. That's right, TGIF. I think yours is a unique and inspiring story. Uh, Former professional athlete, entrepreneur, uh, public speaker, and, and it all sort of guides us and positions you perfectly as a podcast host. So did all of this come and sort of lead you to podcasting or did podcasting open up other opportunities for you? That's a great question, Nate. So I started out speaking in 2013 after I lost my business, my home, my cars, almost all of my money. I had $400 left in my name and I started completely over from rock bottom. And what happened was I wanted to speak to help others in their journey. And I started speaking, didn't get a lot of traction, two and a half years, not one paid job. Got my first paid job April 2016 with Miller Mott College, and I worked my way up. Met some great people along the way, Mel Robbins, my coaches at the NAPSA program. Oh, now Mel's amazing. She's just I I love Mel, yes. She's amazing. (laughs) So I got a chance to be on her audio book, Kick Ass with Mel, and she had a chance to mentor me, coach me in some things. So she was always a positive force in my life. And then 2018, it got better. And then I said, hmm. Let me launch a podcast. So I did. I had another podcast a couple of years ago called The Levin Market Show. Did well, but my host and I kind of got into some this we didn't see eye to eye. So I moved into this podcast, Get Authentic with Marcus Ogden. And Nate, our one year anniversary was on June 22nd of 2023. We're in the top Amazing. Of the most popular podcast. Uh, we got that seven and a half months. I mean, we've just been very fortunate. We've been streaming in 100 countries around the world. Uh, mm-hmm. in under a year and it's very very fortunate so speaking coaching consulting all led me to the success of the podcast that's awesome and there there's definitely a financial focus uh to mm-hmm. a lot of of what you talk about and i think that real life experience that lived experience of being in the trenches and and, and rebuilding uh, your your financial life, but also it sounds like some personal and professional things as well. I think that that speaks volumes to have that lived experience when you're coaching, right? Oh, Nate, absolutely. I tell people all the time, hire a coach that has either is where you want to be or a coach that has failed and knows how to help you avoid where you <laughs> don't want to be. There you right? go. So like Warren Buffett says it best, he'll never invest in a business owner that hasn't failed at least three times. Mm. Failure is a big learning lesson. As long as Nate, you pay attention and you don't let your ego blind you from the lessons you should be learning to move forward to a better tomorrow. Wow. Really well said. And we often hear that sports 
in our youth or being coached on a sports team is a great developer of character and sort of prepares us for the workforce. How did your time in the NFL prepare you for what you're doing now? So a lot of lessons, Nate, around discipline, focus, consistency, dedication, never giving up are what I learned in the NFL. And you know as well as I do, if you want to be a podcaster, you better be dedicated. You better yeah. be consistent. You can't give up. People aren't going to listen right away. They're not going to, they're not going to oh, I have a podcast. Yeah, I'm Joe Rogan. No, right. it doesn't work that way. So sports taught me a lot around the whole the whole precipice, right, Nate, of how to really do things and dig in and really just, you know, get your elbow dirty, get your hand dirty, and do the work. Like my old coach, Jack Dorio, said, in life, be your own CEO. Be mm. your own self-inspired self-starter. Don't wait for somebody to tell you what to do, where to be, where to go. He said, do it on your own. Like today, I woke up at 4.45. Actually, I woke up at 4.35 on my own before my alarm clock for boxing at 5.30 in the morning. I learned that in sports, in football, going to Howard, the NFL. And I bring that to our brand today with speaking, coaching, consulting. And I've learned patience is a huge virtue. If you're trying to push people to hire you, oh, yeah, that won't go very well. <laughs> You've turned your experience in, into this, uh, it's sort of like a hero's journey where, where when you're on stage. So what's a part of your keynote speech that engages the audience or helps them to relate to your story? I would say the biggest thing is right around the early to middle part of my keynotes is when I talk about my rock bottom moment where I was a custodian, right? Nate, it's so much trash and rotten meat and nasty garbage cover my body, my skin, my clothes. And I always preface it like this. One of my favorite people on earth is J.K. Rollins, who wrote Harry Potter. She said rock bottom is the moment that she rebuilt her life. She's the only Nate billionaire author in the world. Has made more money than Stephen King, James Patterson, and she wrote that book in her car in wow. Starbucks, in her darkest moment. So when I talk about the spoiled milk and the rotten meat and the nasty garbage, right? A lot of people say, wow, I've had a rock bottom moment too. I had this happen to me or this happened to me. I've had people all come up to me after I've spoken, right? Nate, and said, wow, Marcus, your rock bottom moment spoke because I remember going through this in my life or that in my life, or I've lost this in my life and I had alcohol issues. I was depressed, you name it. As a result, it really pulls people in. Then I challenge them. Then we get into action steps to help alleviate that challenge to move them forward quickly and concisely in their everyday personal and professional lives. Today's episode of The Podcast Revolution is brought to you in part by StreamYard. StreamYard has everything you need to create a branded experience with your content. Logos, brand colors, music, overlays, cool transitions, and more. Say goodbye to willy-nilly Wi-Fi connections. StreamYard uses live local recordings, so no matter what kind of connection you or your guest has, you're getting studio quality audio and video for your podcast recording. Click the link in today's show notes for $10 off any package when you subscribe to StreamYard today. What are a few actionable items that our listeners can practice to start rebuilding today? Excellent question, Nate. There, I just I just wrote about this. We're about to actually launch an Ogden Ventures app. You're actually the first person I've told on a podcast about this. Be out in about maybe two weeks, and I wrote about this. If you're having trouble, if you're struggling, these three things are key. Number one, identify your superpower. Every one of us has a superpower. Every one of us has what we do best and we know exactly what to do, but we got to figure out what is our superpower that we possess. Number two, 
create your league of extraordinary ladies and gentlemen. Yes. What I mean there is your friends, your network, people that you can lean on, talk to, that know you, that love you, that trust you. I was actually just watching that movie with Sean Connery. That's why I kind of came up. It's like, so create your league of extraordinary <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's and right. third thing, don't be afraid to ask for help. Push your ego to the side. Get your pride out of the way. I was listening to last night, um, All I Have by J-Lo and LL Cool J. Yes. All my pride, all my pride is all I have. Again, get rid of the pride and then like move it to the side and ask for help when you need it. So again, find your superpower, create your league of extraordinary ladies and gentlemen, and ask for help and get your ego out of the way. Those are powerful. I will sort of debrief things in today's show notes. I will link your contact information in the show notes today. Marcus, I'm curious, who are some of the most powerful conversations you've ever had? <laughs> For number one, without a doubt, Mel Robbins, when I spoke with her on her book in Boston, she changed my life. And one other person, his name is Andre Collins, who's a former NFL athlete, played at Penn State, played for the Washington Redskins, now the Commanders, whatever. Great guy. <laughs> and Andre said, Marcus, there's a program at Penn State you need to go to. You're good at what you do, but you're not great. You're not the best. You're okay, but you're not great. And I remember him telling me that. I kind of got mad. He's like, Marcus, I want you to go. Like, mm. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And then he said, Mars, if you go and you apply yourself, I'll hire you to speak for us in Miami. So I went. And that conversation, Nate, changed my life. Because without Brad Mitchell and Naps and me getting coached and how to use my football background, use my education, use my lingo, use my jargon to communicate with people in the corporate sector better and more efficiently, where we are today with our brand would not be in any circumstance. So again, Mel Robbins in 2018, and then also in 2018, Andre Collins, and then sending me to NAPSA. Those two conversations were the most important in my life and you know, to date. So on the other hand, who would be your dream guest on your podcast? Who's, who's the big <laughs> get? <laughs> ah, that's a good question. We're talking to some pretty big people. We're trying to get them, but I would love to have The Rock. Um, the Rock is just, you know, and actually my old teammate, Fred Taylor, they have a podcast called The Pivot. They actually interviewed The Rock on their show. And The Rock is just all about hard work. He's all about dedication. He's all about consistency. He opens up about his mental health issues. I'm a big fan of him and what he's done and how he's pushed himself forward. So The Rock will be an absolute great get for our podcast. There you go. We got to put it out in the atmosphere, right? Got to. And if you don't, if you don't, if you don't ask for it, you can never receive it. That's right. Marcus, some parting words for people, or how do you close your keynotes? And you know, oftentimes it's it's the last thing we say on stage, right? That people take away. How do you close your keynotes? Always, I have a powerful quote that I close with. It varies, but I think a good one for your audience would be, you know, this is by Jonah Hill, okay? The comfort zone is where dreams go to die. You cannot stay in the comfort zone and be great. It is not possible. The podcast, when I launched Nate a little over a year ago, scared me to death. I'm not going to do this by myself. How am I going to get guests? Who's going to listen? Where are we going to go? How are we going to get any downloads? Am I just going to be somebody that does it? No one's going to listen to me. Is it going to just be another like flop? You know, no, not work out like your last podcast. <laughs> right? But if I didn't step out of the comfort zone, I'm actually, I'm actually talking to Nate. That's why I'm on the floor because I'm in my new office, in my new home, and my chair will be here tomorrow. But I have my office, see my jersey on the wall, my new desk, like, this is now the office slash podcast room in my new home that I was bought about a month ago. And without the podcast, Nate, without what it's done for our brand and our family and my friends and my, my network and me, there is no way, Nate, this new home I'm in, we would be here because the podcast has helped us out monetarily, 
relationship wise, connection wise. So again, if I didn't step out of my comfort zone, Nate, you know, about a year, year and a half ago, when I started filming this podcast and say, I'm going to do it where I'm at today, my friend would not be. Wow. That's a great point too, because people often ask about monetizing your podcast or if there is a stream of revenue through the podcast. And I think to your point, it, it's, it, it, it serves as a conduit to other opportunities and other partnerships. It's not necessarily getting your 10 cents per download or, or whatever it may be, but it serves as that sort of networking piece to allow other partnerships. Correct. You can make money off sponsorships and ads, but you also need to follow up with like coaching or speaking or, you know, you have some other type of programs that are going to really help you kind of to continue to move the needle. So the podcast is a great conduit, a great opener, a great segue to more possibilities if you're good at what you do and you provide value to your guests that you are interviewing. Value. That's super important. Marcus, tell everyone where they can find out more about your coaching or reach out if they are inspired by our conversation today. Thank you, Nate. They can go to our website, www.marcus, M-A-R-Q-U-E-S, Ogden, O-G-D-E-N.com. You can also go to our, uh, you can email me at marcus at marcusogden.com. Go to me, I'm Marcus Ogden on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter at Marcus underscore Ogden, Facebook Marcus Ogden, Twitter, I'm sorry, uh, TikTok is at Marcus Ogden 71. Reach out to us, connect with us. We'd love to speak with you. And again, I'll link everything in today's show notes. Marcus Ogden, powerful conversation. I appreciate your time today, my friend. Have a great weekend. You too, my friend. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, friends, for downloading today's episode. Stay tuned every Tuesday for new episodes highlighting the hottest equipment, production and editing tips, launching your show, pitching to sponsors, so much more. Everything you need that's involved in launching and monetizing a successful podcast. Subscribe to the Podcast Revolution now so you never miss an upload. Again, every Tuesday, hit that follow button on Instagram at Podcast Nate to submit your own questions on podcasting and to catch the latest updates on the show. Remember, friends, it's never too late to find your voice and use it. And let's revolutionize your world one episode at a time. Bye for now, friends.